Okay, <clears throat> this is a three wire alternator. It's out of a uh, Toyota, um, an older model. Anywho, um, I'm going to show you what I got going on here. Normally, I have a switch on here, um, but what I have here is you run a wire from your power, from your positive power. Um, to a switch. Normally there would be a switch in right here between this white wire and, and this wire. Um, and <clears throat> and then you hook it to the to a light. Now this is just a 12 volt light uh, like a brake light or a turn signal whatever. Um, anyway I wait what, what what you're accomplishing is here is when the alternator's on, so if you switch your switch on, um, the light would turn on. And when your light turns on, uh, it's it's ready to to be ch to charge something. Whereas um, when you start to spin the alternator, the light will go off, which means it's charging at that point. So. <clears throat> This yellow light wire um, comes off, and that's the charge light uh, that shows you um, that it's charging. This red wire is a positive wire that that I guess would uh, hook to you. Just hook it directly to your positive power. I guess it would power the um, charge light, etc. This white lighter, white lighter wire just goes back to the positive, but it also goes to the charge light. Like I said, I like to put a switch in between, but I don't always do that. Um, on this one, I don't have a switch. I just kind of threw this together really fast to see if it would work. Okay, so I went ahead and hooked this to a battery just to show you guys when... <clears throat> uh, the, when the alternator is hooked to your 12 volt battery and you have the switch or in this case touch the wires together um, the light comes on okay now I don't have the drill hooked up right now but when you spin this alternator when it starts to charge the battery when it's actually spinning fast enough to put enough RPMs through the alternator it'll start to charge and put amperage out once it starts to put the amps out the light goes off um, I don't have the battery hooked up to the drill right this second so I can uh, you can see that in the other video um, but it's really simple so you got positive wire positive wire from here over here and negative from the chassis of the alternator over to negative on the battery the three wires that come out of the plug I left the plug in to make it simple um, instead of trying to wire into it um, the red one goes over to the positive the white one would goes over to the positive you also put a switch in between it and it goes to the charge light the white wire on the charge light uh, the black that <clears throat> goes back over here to this yellow wire that came out and all, all alternators are probably different um, this is just a Toyota one and how it worked uh, I kinda had to play with the wires and see which one was which and and hooked it up that way Okay, so in the first video I didn't really show it much, but um, I tried all kinds of different little motors. Uh, I need a speed control so that I could hook up a couple different motors, and I think it I can make the alternator go fast enough. But the drill is the only thing I found that I could use and use it direct um, drive and spin the alternator quick enough to actually put out a charge. I 
know that it puts out a decent amount of amperage. Um, I'm not going to say that the drill isn't probably draining some of the power right back out of the batteries. I need to find something probably a little more energy efficient than a than a drill than an old 12 volt drill, but it works. And I thought, you know, if you took this and you hooked it to a separate energy source, say another battery with a small solar panel to it, and it was just running constantly, um, you'd be making free power um, either way. It, uh, you can hook it into your battery bank and set, turn around and charge your battery bank while you're using your battery bank to power the drill. Um, kind of trying to figure out free energy. It's just a simple idea concept. Um, I've tried a couple different things over the years. I'm going to have to go back through and redo some of them and put them on film too. So that's how you hook up an alternator um, to charge on its own without being in a car. Uh, it's really simple. Um, as soon as it starts to spin, all alternators are different, but once it starts to spin at a certain RPMs, it does produce amperage to charge ba batteries. And this worked. Um, I had it hooked up for like a day to my tractor battery, and it charged up the tractor battery after oh, 24 hours of running. It got the drill pretty hot. I came out periodically and turned it off and on. Um, probably wasn't the best thing for the poor drill. Like I said, I, I I got a couple other different little motors from everything from out of a sewing machine to out of a little electric dirt bike. Um, so I'm going to try all those and see which one I can make spin the fastest and use the least amount of, of power so that I'm using little power to run it and producing as much power as I can out of the alternator. Thanks for watching and have a good day.